XCPNG. There's been a lot of updates to this software since I first fell in love with it a while ago. Um, I started with the Citrix, moved over to XCPNG when they launched their open source campaign. And here they are, you know, almost a couple years later. And it's just amazing the amount of dev development work and the features and the updates. And the team has been super busy. When you look at their blog posts, it's unbelievable. You look at here's, you know, release 538, 539, 540, and it's a lot of feature adding. And they're not major changes that you're running a bunch of updates for that are a pain in the butt to do. It's real quality feature changes and additions. It's not a bunch of just quashing bugs so we can get another incremental update number um, and things like that, including they are working on an entire version six of Zen Orchestra. And uh, we'll step back real quick here. What is Zen Project, XCPNG server, the open source project, and how it all works together? I have an entire video I did with a slide deck uh, for those of you that want to do the deep dive into the history of the project, how it came to be, and everything else. I'll you know, I'll leave a link to that video if you're not familiar with it. The short of it is Zen Server is the open source hypervisor. Uh, then XCPNG is a compilation of that. Once again, fully open source, no gotchas, full licenses. Uh, well, no licenses, it's all open source. So you get full features without a license, I should say. And then you have to sit on top of that again is the Zen Orchestra to orchestrate and manage. And in our case here, we have uh, two pools, three physical hosts, 27 VMs, uh, uh, with four users, which it has full user management and everything else, um, and 52 out of 80 CPUs being used right now with uh, 10 running and 17 halted uh, VMs right now. So you can kind of get the idea that there's a lot going on here, and it gives you that ability to manage from one dashboard. Matter of fact, when I've done all my lab work, because this runs our infrastructure for our company and our lab, I've shown how I can even tie together from this one dashboard more servers again to build another HA cluster that is still managed from one dashboard. All right, back to some of the updates. So one of the things I want to talk about is they added advanced telemetry right here. So if we look at the advanced tele live telemetry, they put net data in there. So this is the kind of basic one you get with Zen Orchestra that to overview and go, all right, here's a CPU usage, memory usage, et cetera, network throughput. But that's obviously not as extensive as what you get when you go net data. But you can't just drop net data on there because net data, well, when net data came out and I've done reviews on this, uh, and it's been around for a while, but when I've done the reviews, this was not a feature. It did not have awareness of Zen server. So bring us all the way to modern times. And we have awareness built in. That's because the dev team is, well, very good at development and they reached out to the net data team and got them to build in Zen awareness as a module. Uh, so now it can understand the Zen servers and see the hypervisor, right? Here's my lab server. Uh, here's the domain control memory and here's another lab server running. And it's great because they've integrated this in there so I can look at the individual usage and get these nice stats from net data within Zen server. And I think this is a cool feature. Now, they do have, if you have the premium version of Zen Orchestra, which is the premium uh, supported version, they do have some integration to make it automatic so it wraps with inside of Zen server. Uh, but don't worry, if you want to load it from the command line, you're using the fully open source, you know, you're especially a lot of home users, uh, one of the things they get started with this is because there are no licenses, it's a great way for them to start. Uh, you just do, I, I hit yum remove just to show the products that are listed, but it's yum install. <laughs> Um, these right here, and this will integrate the net data uh, system within there. I believe you only need this one. And then the UI is a wrapper that they added on to tie it into Zen Orchestra. But they are completely installable just from the command line. And then you go to the IP address if you're not using the uh, fully compiled version or of Zen, if like you're using a free version of Zen Orchestra, you just go to the IP address of, this, of your primary server uh, 1999 and away you go with a standard net data port. Back to some of the other features. Now they have been working on inside of here, refactoring some of the code for the uh, global private network. This is a neat feature that I talked about uh, in one of the last update videos I did on Zen Orchestra. And basically what this is, is a way to create a private network as in you can put a firewall inside of your Zen server and then have servers that sit behind that firewall, but they're on their own private network that's not physically attached to an adapter, but that happens only on a single host. Well, there is of course open vSwitch to allow that to spread across hosts, but that's kind of older system versus the way they're doing it now is creating GRE tunnels between them. 
And that's actually a really cool feature because now you can build uh, a firewall on one physical Zen server, but then have the virtual machines running on another Zen server, and then create this GRE tunnel between these two devices to make that work. So that's really cool that they're working on it. And as if, as if that's not enough, they're working on Zen Orchestra version 6 because they realize as the project has grown, their customer base has grown, and there's some large installs. So they've been adapting Zen Orchestra 5 to do some of these larger installs. And right now, Zen, like they said, when it was originally designed in 2015, two to 10 hosts and quite a few VMs, now people have a lot more than that. So they're building in and thinking about scalability. So the project just keeps growing with you. And I've been really happy with it. And for those of you that are wondering, this is one of the things that I've pointed out, like how does the project get supported? An open source project to me, that is very mature, that it has full support, are the best ones because you know they're going to be around for a while they're very security conscious by the way there's been all the patches released and everything else uh, for the xcpng related to the latest round of intel vulnerabilities they've been on top of all that but obviously that takes time and this is where the company's pretty cool because you go to xcpng.org and it's 100 free no licensing but if you want to buy support just support they have that as an option and they have very public facing pricing uh when you go there which is something i really appreciate you didn't have to talk to a sales rep, go through uh, 20 cold calls and some type of BS webinar just to find out how much it costs to get to the thing. They're very upfront of, hey, you want six support tickets a year, SSH support. Um, so if you want to buy it, and the same thing with the Zen Orchestra product, um, they have a monthly recurring fee if you want full support on their product or, and I've covered this in my video and covered this in my uh, breakdown of Zen Orchestra, you can compile it yourself because, well, it's open source and all the code is laid out for you. And this gives you control over your infrastructure. That's one of the reasons I'm such a big fan of the project, but because there's no gotchas. It's all, hey, we sell support. We have forums, et cetera. If you're a business, buy the support. If you're a home user, no problem. Tinker away, poke at it, have at it. I've done ton of, you know, myself, I've done a ton of tutorial uh, to help the home users get started and learning about virtualization because it's a great platform to use. And if you learn it all at home and then deploy it in your business, it, it's the same software and it's not a different version and it's highly affordable for a college kid learning to wanting to learn about virtualization at home you know someone who's just getting started because it's all free but i'll leave links to all this uh i just was I wanted to cover some of the updates of the project it they've been doing an amazing job uh the dev team is pretty awesome i've actually messaged uh some of them a few times they've always been quick to respond and they got comparisons of what it is and everything else is pulling up some of the stuff they have on here. Uh, but I'm really happy with the project and I'm excited to see all the different developments that are happening. The fact that they're working on a new version six on here and I'm going to be doing soon because now that they're at the 8.0 version, a video on that topic of how to get started with Zen server, but it'll be the 8.0 edition. Uh, cause it's been neat seeing all the different enhancements and the support for things that I, I said they didn't have before. So the only thing different between the video I'll do from previous to the one now is they have support for all these extra things that they didn't like. Now they support ZFS, they support uh, more file systems, more features, and they've increased many of the limits. So if you were worried about limitations that it may have had prior, uh, they've increased like, you know, number of CPU limits and uh, other enhancements that came with moving to the 8.0 version. All right, and thanks. I'll leave links to all this and all of my other videos on this topic. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.